everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm doing my little sister's nails my little sister is a kid um so these nails are very appropriate she loves mickey mouse um even if you're an adult you can you know take some designs from this look or just the skill the application whatever you want to do there's still things to learn whether this is your style or not so this is her previous little set it was um, just a nude with a stamp. She picked this design. It's really cute, super simple. I don't have a video for it. I do apologize. But I'm starting off with filing off the gel polish from her previous set and taking her nails down um, shorter. She does keep them long and she wears them a long time. I usually go about five, six weeks in between doing her nails because, you know, big sister's busy. And yeah, so... Um, they have grown out an awful lot, but they held up well overall. I think she had one that she cracked, but her nails last really good, especially for her being a kid and not having the same considerations we do as adults, you know, playing, roughhousing, whatever she does. So you can see she had a little, um, I think this one had a little crack, a little lifting. So I'm just kind of following that off and letting that chip off. Uh, but she doesn't have any lifting really from the cuticle area at all. That's the great thing about gel. And that's why I like using it at, on her as somebody who's a little bit more harsh on her hands and, you know, doesn't think about the same thing. is not as cautious, uh, but there's you know a lot of adults like that as well. So you can see I'm going in with the skiver bit and this bit is from Atwood Industries. And I'm just removing the dead cuticle off of her nail plate. She does get a lot on there. This video is sped up, so it looks very aggressive, but it's not. I'm using this on the slowest, lowest speed on my e-file. I am using the Melody Susie Sparkle rechargeable e-file, and I will have a link down below if you're interested. It's um, fairly reasonably priced um, for the quality, and um, I do have a dedicated video on it as well, so I'll try to put that below if you want to see a more detailed review. I'm just using this bit in the area that I filed off on her free edge just to remove any shine, add texture. So when we place the gel back over it, it won't have a problem adhering. So now I'm going in with a round bit again on a slow speed and removing the dead skin that has grown out. Now I'm showing you these two bits. The left one is the mini skiver. It's a little more pointy. The right is the regular skiver, both from Atwood Industries. Um... I'm going to go in with a mini skiver just to get a little more of that dead skin in those tight crevices. Everybody doesn't need this much detail. It's great to have a variety of bits. Um, so when you come across different problems, you can, you know, troubleshoot them differently. But everybody's, you know, anatomy is different. So after I moved all the dead skin, I shaped her nails as I'm showing you. I just wanted to regain the shape because we cut down the length. So our proportions were off, her apex is in a weird place. So I wanna kind of regain the shape now. So I'm using the gel bottle ink, rubber base coat, and that will be like our, it's our base coat, but it's gonna be essentially our primer. So I just wipe the nails off with acetone, and then I'm going in with the application of this base gel on the natural nail. If I get this on my existing enhancement, it's absolutely fine. You just don't need to polish the entire entirety of the enhancement it just becomes a waste of product because you're going to file it off um so now i'm going in with the light elegance cool gel and clear and i'm going to be filling in the nails i um will be using a nude on the one that's going to be um on the two that are going to be just the stones in the mickey mouse but for these i'm just filling in with clear very quickly and i'm using a brush it's from either hobby lobby or michaels i say it all the time i i don't even think they carry it no more i have people leave comments say they carry it in like office depot or office max but it's a um it's just a paint brush it's a filbert paint brush in the size that i like um the brush the brush density when i seen it i felt like it'd be good to do gel nails it was very cheap i should really probably get other ones new ones but when i when i find something i like i like to use it and keep using it you you probably learned that like that's why i use a lot of the same products because i feel like if they're quality i want to keep using them but also i like to get you know i want to try new products for you guys so i can make some good solid recommendations so i'm using the light elegance ideal pink builder and i'm going to use this to fill again those nails that are just going to be the nude color this um 
color is like the cosmetic pink you guys probably see me use often except it's a little more pink toned it's less brown this is great for people with fair complexions but either color can be used on anybody it's just a matter of preference so i didn't get a full video i'm sorry we were all talking and chatting i didn't get a full video of me doing the nude nail completely but i just added the little clip so you know what product i used and what i did so i'm sorry um i shaped the nails off camera as i always do i always hold hold the hand up and it's just difficult to film especially without getting my clients or for this scenario my sister's face in the video which not many people like or enjoy so i'm using this carbide bit it's a smooth top bit safety bit and i am using this bit because i want to debulk the nail again we cut the nail down so much our apex is kind of through our free edge a little bit so we need to debulk that so once we've debulked the nail i'm gonna go in with this cross cut bit and just finish refining the shape and smooth out the surface of the nail get tight around the cuticle area and get that nice and flush and also add some texture to the nail so we don't have to use a buffing block. I'm going to be using Perfect Black from Madame Glam. It's just a regular black gel polish. It's pretty good as a gel polish. Not really for art, but I'm just using this scenario. I'm using Blue Heaven. It's a holographic gel polish. It's an old one I have from Color Club. This um, Bambina Presto Art Liner and a dotting tool. Also, I'm going to be using this. Um, it doesn't look flesh tone. It looks very yellow on camera. It's from Wildflowers and it's part of their art gel. And okay, like I was saying, this looks very, very yellow on camera. But in real life, it does imitate kind of that. I don't say that Mickey Mouse has a flesh tone. Sometimes when he's drawn, when he's portrayed, he has this, you know, beige tan fleshy tone. And it really imitates that. Um, you can see I did kind of like a, a trial just to kind of see if how I wanted to approach it, if it would work, the color, like you see it was kind of bad. So I wiped it off and started again. And like I said, it was just kind of a little trial to see how we liked it, if it would even work at all. Um, so that's the thing I'm probably most sad about, not in real life, but again, how it's portrayed to y'all. This color looks very yellow um, but trust me, it isn't. It's just how the camera is picking it up. So you see, I used that dotting tool and made the shapes of the face and then I cured it in light. Now I'm going in with this white and I actually didn't put it. It's um, perfect white from Madam Glam that I'm using. So I added the eyes again with the dotted tool, the dotting tool, and I'm going in and I'm dipping this liner brush from Presto and I'm dipping it in the, um, the Madam Glam to fill in like bigger spaces just because I was kind of running out of this gel and I could fill a bigger space with it. The Perfect Black isn't as pigmented for art work. It's a great um, regular black gel polish. Um, but it it the problem was it is I had to go over things twice and so you don't really want to do that in detailed artwork. But it's fairly simple shapes just circles and little v's and stuff um so you can see i'm just putting in these shapes and i'm just looking my sister had a phone case that i was looking at this set is inspired by a picture that she or my mom got off pinterest i don't know who the nail tech is i i do apologize but um i was also looking at a phone case just to get the mickey you know look um and that's the biggest thing is always keep a picture around when you're trying to draw something or use something as a point of reference so you can get it as accurate as possible. So I just um, cured everything once I got it how I wanted. I had the second coat on the ears with the black and I'm using the velvet matte top coat and just top coating and that will be it. I think a lot of hand drawn artwork does look better when it's top coated matte because you can really see the detail a lot of the time when you um, do artwork shiny you'll get details lost just because of the reflection of the shiny top coat so that's just a little tip even though that's not always how you want it to look it just helps the artwork um, stand out a little better a lot a lot of the times so I applied the two coats of the holographic color and I'm using the Koopa um, top coat and just top coating those fairly simple 
And then I'm using Swarovski crystals you could purchase from Blue Street Crystals. This is a the gel diamond glue from Nail Supply Glamour. And I'm just taking my gel brush and putting that diamond gel on the entirety of her nail. And I'm building it up pretty thick. I want these crystals to sink into this gel. Then I'm going to go in and top coat on top of that before I cure. So I have a wet layer of the crystal gel and I'm floating top coat over it. And then I'm going to add my crystals as I see fit. This is going to make it so once we cure in the light, we don't have to seal around the crystals and top coat and all that. So after I get the stones how I wanted them, just in the bigger stone, two small stones for the ear, I cured. And this is our final look. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Like I said, it is for my little sister for kids. You can definitely take this look if you're going on a Disney cruise, a trip, or you just like Mickey. Do like a nude set and some of these Mickey crystals. It'd be very cute. But anyways, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.